Greetings and welcome to today's virtual memorial service in remembering and honoring the life and the legacy of Mrs. Catherine Craig. She passed away into the arms of our Savior on February 10th, 2021 at the age of 47 years old. She leaves behind her husband, Bill Gaffner, and her wonderful three children, Jack, Gemma, and Josie, as well as her family, friends, and colleagues. Kat is most famously known for astounding reporting skills with NBC4 News. But she's much more than that. She was a beautiful soul inside and out. TOFA's founder, Elton Lugai, as well as the entire TOFA organization, is heartbroken to learn of the passing of Mrs. Catherine Craig, a beloved TOFA recipient and an outstanding member of the Filipino American community. In just a few moments, you will hear lovely tributes to her by her friends, her family, and her colleagues, as well as beautiful song numbers by TOFA artists in remembrance and in honor of her passing. But for now, as we begin, let's bow our heads and our hearts in prayer as we begin today's memorial service. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that today, we as her family and friends can come together as we remember the amazing life of Mrs. Catherine Craig. Father, we thank you, even though in this very moment, we still may not understand why you might have taken her early. We thank you that right now we could celebrate her life, her legacy that she so selflessly lived as she reflected your son, Jesus, as she loved others, served others with such a servant heart. Father, we pray today for those that are brokenhearted, for those who are mourning and hurting of her passing, God, we pray that you bless them. God, we pray that you comfort them and be with them in these trying and difficult times. But today, as we hear wonderful tributes and words of her family and friends, would you bless us, give us joy. May our hearts be happy at the remembrance of all the things that Catherine has done. We thank you, Lord, for this time now, once again, that we could do this together. We praise you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Go along my way 
Help me take the right directions Take your road Lead me, Lord, and never leave my side All my days All my life On my feet all the time, oh Lord, I need you there. You are my light. I cannot live alone. Let me stay by your guiding love all through my life. You. I was shocked and deeply saddened when I learned that Catherine Gregor Cat, as she's better known, has left us unexpectedly. She's a face and voice many Filipino Americans are very familiar with, particularly in the morning news of WNBC. Her style of reporting, which exudes optimism and zest, is hard to forget. Add to that her ever-present smile and friendly demeanor, which to me are very distinctive Filipino characteristics. We will sorely miss you, Kat. Our profound condolences to your husband, Bill, and three young children. Our prayers for your peaceful and eternal repose. Catherine, you make us Filipino Americans proud when we see you on television, reporting with energy, joy, confidence, and eloquence. May perpetual light shine upon you, and may you rest in God's peace. Amen. to go and much to see stretching out for miles and miles horrendous possibilities where your heart will lead you may not know so take this wisdom with you when you decide to go Tofa, congratulations on 10 powerful, incredible, and memorable years. Who would have thought in 2010 that our world would look like this 
in 2020, but we will get through it all together. As a TV journalist, I feel we have important jobs giving the public the latest information on all that's going on. We're covering unprecedented times. We're in the middle of a pandemic. There are tense race relations that continue in our country. Also, many elected leaders criticize us and they don't support us at all. A lot of journalists feel threatened, but we will persevere. We will together get through it all. TOFA, we're looking forward to many, many more successful years with your organization, Mabuhai. And congratulations from me, Catherine Craig. Sometimes you're gonna fall You wonder if you have the strength To rise above it all When the weight of what you carry seems too much And it's looking like there's no place to go but give it Hello everyone, my name is Erno Ormillosa. It is such an honor to pay tribute to Catherine Craig, a celebration of her beautiful life. I have shared the stage with Catherine, not just once, twice, but three times at the Carnegie, during the award ceremony of the Outstanding Filipinos of America. In 2019, I had another pleasure to introduce her as one of our distinguished panel of judges of Miss Gorge Beauty Pageant. Catherine has a huge personality, infectious smile, smart, witty, and an accomplished mom. As a New Yorker, we're going to miss her distinct voice, especially in the morning news of NBC. To her family, especially to her husband, to her son, and two daughters, I want you to know that your mom left us a beautiful legacy, and at the same time, she will forever have a special place in our heart. And thank you for sharing Catherine with us. Hi, this is Nair Martinez for the Philippine Independence Day Council, Inc. I've had the opportunity and privilege to work with Kat when she was our guest host uh, for the 2012 Mrs. Kalayan event, as well as our Philippine Independence Ball and uh, Parade the following year. Her infectious enthusiasm, smile, and gung-ho spirit really radiated and resonated with her audience, whether it was in the ballroom or on Madison Avenue during the parade. She is always going to be remembered as someone who is so proud of her Filipino heritage. 
and culture and someone who also loved to dance as a matter of fact she used to join us for line dancing the todo 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 during our events I haven't seen her in a while but whenever I see her on TV hey that's cat so I know that she's okay but it was quite a shock when I learned about her passing so to cat I'd like to say thank you for all your unwavering support and commitment to the Filipino American community and to your husband Bill Gaffner and to your three children our deepest sympathies I believe my heart at the door I won't say a word They've all been said before, you know. So why don't we just play it, pretend like we're not scared of what is coming next? Or scared of having nothing left? Look, don't, don't get me.
Catherine was one of those people that you meet and leaves a lasting positive impression. I met Catherine in 2013 at Carnegie Hall at a TOEFL award ceremony. I remember backstage, we shared our stories. I cried a little bit, we laughed a lot and got a kick of how people commented that we could have been sisters. Kat was a well-known newscaster and yet she was humble, generous, and really kind. The few times I reached out to her, she was always gracious and supportive. Two years ago, I suffered Kat at a Transgender Visibility Beauty Pageant, Miss Gorge. I don't enjoy public speaking, so emceeing an event was nerve-wracking. That day, I was on stage and kind of saw Kat, who was also one of the judges, and I waved and she gave me a thumbs up. I guess her way of being a cheerleader, assuring that I was doing a good job. Catherine was so supportive of the Philippine American community, especially in New York. She's a role model to many and we will surely miss her. My name is Menjo Sanchez. I first met Catherine at the 2013 TOEFL Awards at Carnegie Hall, where both of us were awardees. She came to me and said, here you are the woman of the hour. I was so humbly honored and we chatted for a bit regarding Superstorm Sandy. I found her to be a very happy person, full of life, vibrant and giggly. Every morning while preparing to go to work, my husband and I would wait to watch her in the news before leaving our home. It may be raining, shining, storming, snowing, hailing or flooding, but she was always there reporting the news. Sometimes you can tell how exhausted she is through her voice being raspy or having signs of cold, but she remained diligent in her duty of reporting the news to our community. Catherine, you are an amazing person. You are a great loss. We are sincerely sending our love and tight hugs to your family, especially your kids. May you rest in eternal peace. You will be missed. I'm Catherine Craig from WNBC TV News 4. What I love about TOFA is that it recognizes the incredible achievements of Filipinos and Filipino Americans right here in New York City and really all around the world. What TOFA has done and with the people involved in the organization, they've reached out to so many communities to make sure that they know that they matter and that their futures are bright. It is such a strange time in our world right now. We're in the middle of a pandemic, but what TOFA does and the people involved in the organization is that they want to make sure that everybody sees light and positivity and they do that with all of the lives that they touch. I am honored by this uh, incredible recognition and I want to thank all of the other honorees. I want to thank TOFA, thank my parents and our relatives and also my family for always supporting me. i
I got to know Kat working on the morning show for Channel 7 when we would pull up to a scene and and uh, Catherine would be there with her crew already and she would tell us what was going on and where to park and who to talk to and we would help each other out or if I just got to know her through the Filipino community. What I do know is that she showed up when I was being honored by a women's rights organization uh, to an event and she completely surprised me. I had no idea that she bought a ticket. I had no idea that she was going to show up on a Tuesday night to cheer me on. I remember making an announcement from the podium uh, that Catherine Craig and Lori Stokes have to go home and go to bed because it was nine o'clock at night. Um, but she just wanted to be there to show her support. Uh, and that's just the kind of person that she was. She was just the biggest cheerleader for all of her friends and all of her colleagues. And I just want to tell her beautiful family that although Catherine is not here on earth anymore, that her love lives within them. And she is smiling down on everyone from a special place in heaven, because that's obviously where she is. Anyone that good is looking down on us from above. And we will miss her so much. And it is our responsibility to let her family know and her children know as they grow up what kind of a legacy that she had, one of loving and one of caring and one of genuine and true, true friendship. That's what I'll miss about her the most. I feel like I've known Kat my whole life. She's freaking hilarious, an awesome reporter, and an amazing wife and mom. And maybe it's a Filipino thing, but I feel like as soon as we met, we just clicked and, and we were like family. and. Working for competing stations didn't change that. And despite the fact that I'm almost two years older than her, I just felt like she was more of an older sister to me, only because she had been through so many of life's milestones before me. She got married before me, had kids before me, so she was always filled with such great life advice. You know, it's actually because of Kat that I sent my, my kids to St. Ignatius Loyola School. And I'll admit I was a little nervous to go there because I didn't know anyone, but she immediately welcomed me into the Sills Filipina Moms Mafia. And ever since then, I felt at home. Now I love going back and reading our last text exchange where we laughed about the fact that we were both willing to pay 200 bucks for dress down passes just so our kids could enjoy the dangerous thrill of not wearing a uniform to school. Now I can't imagine going to a school event and not having her there, not seeing her smile, not hearing her laugh, not being able to 
battle it out and sweat it out to old school hip hop songs. Wherever Cal was, there was fun, kindness, acceptance, and love. I was always amazed at how Kat was able to juggle her early morning shift, three kids, and then still arrive at every single school event with more energy than all of us combined. You know, Kat's world was like the love boat and she was Julie the cruise director. Thank you so much, Kat, for allowing me to come on board for the ride. You are truly one of a kind. I feel so blessed to have had you in my life and to call you my friend. I love you so much and will miss you always. Sorry. I never told you all I wanted to say, and now it's too late to hold you, cause you've flown away so far away.
sweet As we conclude today's memorial service for Mrs. Catherine Craig, you can see that words truly are not adequately enough to express how loved and missed she is. We are reminded in the Holy Scriptures in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8, it says, There is a time for everything. For everything, there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to cry and a time to laugh. A time to grieve and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to turn away. A time to search and a time to quit searching. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be quiet and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Right now, it is a time to mourn and grieve the passing of beloved soul and friend and family member, Mrs. Catherine Craig. Thankfully, God's promises in Psalms 34, 18, it says, God is near to the brokenhearted and he rescues those whose, souls are, whose spirits are crushed. We can all rest in God's promises and know that this truly isn't a goodbye. It is a see you later in glory someday. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that tonight as we heard wonderful tributes and remembrances of Mrs. Catherine Craig, we thank you for the lives that she's touched. We thank you for everything that she's done so selflessly for others. God, we pray now for her family. We pray for her friends. And we pray for those who are hurting and mourning her loss, that you would comfort them. Give them peace, Lord. Would you wrap them in your arms and remind them that you've got everything under control. Thank you for the remembrance in your word that you are close to the brokenhearted and you will rise and raise up those whose spirits are crushed. So we thank you today that we get to remember her life and legacy. Will it continue to live in our hearts forever and ever? We thank you, God, and we give this to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you for joining us tonight in our virtual memorial service for Mrs. Catherine Kay. God bless you.